goodness my hair is a total mess but anyway welcome back to another episode of one take reaction today's episode is me reacting to eyes one's latest mv secret story of the swan that's actually a very long name for english title but i'm glad it's in korean so i'll take that i'll take that i'll take that i'll take that okay i'm copying too much right now i'm really nervous for some reason for this because this is their second mv for this year and it, it, it is very fast since the bloom eyes come back i mean it's very reasonable but at the same time it's it's really surprising to have two in like what six months that's really fast for a temporary group shouldn't have said that i take that back i'm very sorry with ones i'm very sorry okay um yes my reaction is very late because I was working and I promised to myself I would not react to the music while I'm working. So I literally uh, mute myself from anything, from any reviews for from the Wiz ones. But I heard they're very good. So I hope they keep up to their promise. And I hope, I hope the MV is good. I'm not going to say any further because it could backlash in any way. I'm not going to be one-sided. I'm going to try to be as neutral as possible. But then there will be parts where I'm going to be going insane. So I apologize for that. So yeah, if, I, if there's any mistakes to my explanation, I apologize in advance. So without further ado, let's get this started. I'm excited. Let's do this. Oh! Okay, okay. <laughs> Wait, she's back in What? What? What the? Okay Wait, is It's still going? What? It's still going? Mom. <laughs> what? 
the freak? Eh, am I seeing that correctly? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I need, I need to, I need to. This is okay. Okay, wait, wait. <laughs> okay, I need, I need. Oh goodness! <sighs> Sorry for my long hair. I think beanie just fits me right now. But what the freak? <laughs> no. <laughs> It's actually good. It's actually good. I enjoy that song. I'm not enjoying it as a whiz one actually. I'm trying to be as neutral as possible, but damn, that sounds good. That sounds. Damn! It's so freaking good. Alright, okay. Let me just share you guys my opinion right now. I think this is this is Cheon's era. This I feel like it's Cheon's era because. From what I from what I'm seeing in the MV, it's all almost everything is focused on Cheon, but there's obviously there's some parts on the other members. But I'm seeing more on Cheon, and damn, she deserves that. Damn, yeah, this this could be her era. This could be her era, but damn, the dance break at the beginning at the beginning. Obviously, it's Woon Young and oh god, I forgot. I take that back. I'm sorry, but. Most of the scenes I uh, that I'm seeing, I saw Cheon more than the others. This is interesting. This is interesting. Okay, I want to talk about the leader, Unbi. God, that's hot. <laughs> it's super. What am I talking about? I know it's really weird. I know that she's actually part of like the, like I don't know how to explain it, but. But her visuals are very, very, very interesting right there. I like that. I like that. For a leader, that's quite, that's quite amazing right there. Um, Yena's rap part, Rihanna and Cheon, obviously Cheon, probably her era. They're both, they're stunning. Rihanna's part got me rolling. I mean, the reaction won't, doesn't look as like I'm stunned or whatever, but if I want, let me just tell you guys this. If I want to make the comparison between Love and Rose and, and Secret Story of the Swan, Secret Story of the Swan got Yena's rap super on point. I mean, wait, am I, am, is that correct? I don't know. But I feel like it's much more stunning, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's how I feel. And Cheon rap, I think this is the first time I'm hearing. I never actually get to watch the Produce 48, so... That's my fault. I apologize for that one, okay? Okay? Um Hitomi. Pretty, pretty gorgeous right there. Not too bad right there. Not too bad. Not too bad. Uh Anako on that start. It was quite shocking to be honest. It was quite shocking. It was quite shocking. That's that is really shocking right there. Sakura didn't see much, but it's completely fine. We get to see her dance, and that's that's fine with me. I'm fine with that. I hope the others are too. Probably the solo stance will be triggered right now. So yeah. Anyway, um, Woon Young at the beginning again. I think I think she's at the beginning because I saw her more on the beginning. But yeah, let me let me just share to you guys what I feel about the chorus. It's funny. It's funny. Let's swan, swan, swan. Mama. I would like to know what does that mean. I would like to know what does that, what was the mama supposed to mean in the song. But hey, 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 it is a secret. It is a secret story. And I'll take that. I need to find out more about that secret story of the swan. I need to watch further so that I can understand further. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, I'm, I'm surprised this hasn't gone a million yet. It's... Currently, from what I'm seeing right now, it's only at 695,000 695, views in just 4 hours, which is... Surely, this, sh this should be at a million right now, but the algorithm is just not, not really there. But 
But I I can see them break another record and they already did yesterday. I heard they have reached number one and they do deserve it because the song is really catchy. It's catchy, it's stunning, and it's anything you could ask for from Eyes One. They still live up to the expectations and I hope they can still continue this. It's, it's just wonderful, you know. I was like, okay, let me just show you guys this. When I listened to the first teaser, I thought it was going to be a sad song. But damn, I was wrong. That was the first song of the album, not the title track. They got me right there. So, well done, nice one. Well done. Last but not least, I would like to say about my ultimate bias. Obviously, I'm keeping this for the last. Kim Che Won. Mind blown. What the freak? I'm... <laughs> I have not. I have no words to say. When that first scene of her comes in, obviously it it looks stunning for me. To me, she looks super stunning. But then, what surprises me is how did she get to the chorus again, two times in a row? First it was Fiesta. Now it's Secret Story of the Swan. I am. I am. I got shot to. She shot me right to the heart, and oh my, oh my, it, it's, it's super stunning. Ah, it, it's still, it, it's still running right now, man. It's still running. Like, seeing that scene so far is like, wow, it's fantastic. I love it. Um, well done to the producers who make the MV and the song itself. It's, it fits the story. I mean, there, uh, we didn't see much of the main main concept, Swan. But the main objective of that song, if I'm not wrong, is to make it look as much stunning. Make it as like a, a shocker, you know what I mean? Obviously, it's a secret story and you must find every secret that is placed in the MV. So, that's completely fine. And I would rate the MV 8.5 out of 10. Not almost perfect it's almost perfect it is stunning but i feel like there's still something missing to it but i'm not gonna complain i love the song i love the mv and i'm and i can confirm to you guys i'm getting the album ready i just don't know when i'm gonna be getting it because of the current pandemic Encik corona what are you doing Encik corona but anyway uh if i were to rank of all the reactions i think it's gonna be close to the hype reaction or maybe level of concern I'm not, I'm not too sure which one was the top reaction that I enjoyed. But, uh, yeah, Fiesta, if I were to compare Fiesta and Secret Story of the Swan, I think I would still go for Fiesta, but Secret Story of the Swan has a different concept and brings a different vibe. But I enjoyed that vibe compared to that song. But yeah, yeah, I'm, all I can say is I enjoyed that song. As a fan of music, because I I'm that kind of guy who wants to really understand the meanings of the lyrics and the concept of the music and the whole thing that is showing to me right in the face. So yeah, I'm I'm talking too much nonsense, and I understand that that's because I still can't clear off the thought that one. It is probably Cheon's era and I'm very happy for her. And for Cheon to actually got, get the chorus again, two in a row for her MVs, I'm super stunned and shocked. I'm happy for her. Damn. I wish I could say this to them that they've done well. They have done it super well. Blue Mice to One Eric, One Eric Diary, the transition... It may not seem as perfect, but it kind of brings the right timing, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I hope to see I hope to see a better MV very soon. Much better than this one, much better than this one. Obviously, I like this MV, but I know they can one-up their level. I know they can one-up their standard. They have done it from Love and Rose to Violetta to Fiesta and now to The Secret Story of the Swan. Maybe the next one they're going to one up again and probably bring out the best in them. I mean, obviously this is current their current best. Every MV that they released is their current best at that point of time, and I know they can improve. 
and I believe in them. So yeah, Ice One, well done. Uh, the whole MV, the song I would rate the the MV it is eight eight point five out of ten. But if I were to listen it just by itself, I think I'm going to be. I think it is going to be near perfect tip top rating, nine point five out of ten. Just almost, it's almost there. I know I'm going, I'm going to get a lot of backlash right now, but it's just my opinion. I hope you all can respect that. I enjoy the song. I enjoy the song. That's 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 that thing. Okay. Bottom line is, I love Secret Story of the Swan. And you know what? I'm gonna download it right now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Next reaction, Stray Kids. Stays. Get excited.